everyone, Sir Mama here, here to teach you how to set up your Logitech G920 steering wheel on Roblox. Now, if you notice, right now, if you don't have certain apps, then when you open Roblox, it won't let you open it. It'll just automatically close. But, if it does let you open it, the steering wheel won't work. That's because Roblox does not support that. But that's why I'm here, to teach you how to set it up. So, for this, you need three apps. One of them you should already have. The first app you need is, of course, Logitech G Hub. Go ahead and download it. And once you download it, connect your steering wheel if you have an array. And once you're in here, this is crucial for uh, later in the video. You want to turn your operating angle all the way down. It's just temporary. You're going to be able to change it later. Don't worry. You just have to hey there. This is Sir Mart from Future. Make sure that when you turn your wheel, it stops when the display stops. Make sure that it doesn't turn after the display stops turning. This is crucial for a layer. You'll see that my mistake. To turn it all the way down for now, okay? Okay. Also, if your steering wheel is feeling loose, then I recommend going and unplugging your steering wheel and plugging it back in so it rotates. Go ahead, find your steering wheel plug in, and unplug it. It should make a do no sound, and then you gotta re plug it in so it does its rotations. I recommend doing this either way, even if it uh, isn't stiff, to make sure that your steering wheel is ready. And next, we have to get the thing that'll make it so you don't, so Roblox can actually open. This, and once you download that, uh, it's pretty straightforward from there. I think you have to open it. If it, if it says no device is detected, that's fine because in the end you don't, uh, unless you're using it for something else, then it'll, it, it's just you so you can actually open Roblox. Now, here's the most crucial part. The reason I'm doing this video is because all the other ones are outdated. Now, you have to go to your, uh, go to your browser google or microsoft edge i don't have google because it has too much space well i can't download it i just don't want to but then you gotta look up x360 c e this is your controller mapper okay you click on that link uh and then you go ahead and you download for all games. Don't listen to the other tutorials and download for 32 bit games or 64 because those are outdated and don't work anymore. You have to look, you have to download the one that says for all games. Now I did uninstall my old one, I'm pretty sure. So it'll be like straight up new. And if it isn't, then I'll just reset the maps. Oh wait. Now, once you are in here, oh, it's already, uh, I'm just going to clear everything. So, first of all, you should, I think there's a few things that open when you first download it. I'm not sure, but I swear I deleted it so it could be easier for y'all. But once you have this, you have to click enable map device and go to game controllers over here. You gotta click your Logitech G920 Driving Force Race Racing Wheel USB. Now, if you do not see that, comment down below. And if y'all have any problems with this, comment the problem, and I will get back to you as soon as possible on how to fix it. If I can't fix it, um, then I will contact you. I'll find a way to. If you have Discord, then you can contact me on Discord. We'll go on a call, we'll fix it. Now, once you have your game controllers, make sure that you click devices and make sure that it has a green mark and it's your steering wheel. Now, now for the 
basic stuff. Now earlier I said set it to 180. Now that's because when when you're doing this, um, when you're doing the accesses, if you don't have it at 180 when you turn it, then it will you will have to turn it like a bunch to get the wheels to turn on the game. Which might be a problem for y'all later on. Now, what you want to do now is click. Uh, I recommend first going to axis and clicking half axis one. And then click record. Hey y'all, Shermer from Future. You know how I told you about that mistake I made? Well, here's where I made it. I'm going to display a video of what the mark should. Alright, that means that you have to take your steering wheel. Take your steering wheel like so, and record. Make sure that it goes fast, and your turning should be good. So while I'm making this video, I'm making sure that it's understanding for y'all, and I know this seems a bit complicated because I made one mistake. So basically, you gotta go to your x-axis, click record, and turn your steering wheel like in this video that's displaying right now and make sure that the numbers go up to 1000 because if it's like 70 to 200 then it's wrong now once you got that done make sure that when you turn it just a little bit this thing turns too if it turns then you're in the good and this should display how much it turned it has turned now, don't worry about this unless it becomes a problem later on, because most of the time it doesn't really do anything. And also, when you turn right, this should light up with uh, green, or when you turn left, it should light up with green to make sure that's working. Okay, next up that you have to do to set up is, of course, you gotta have your... You gotta have your, uh pedals so go ahead click trigger then click record first first of all press down on your accelerator pedal and let go be sure that for your accelerator pedal you're going in the right trigger not the left now your left trigger is going to be your brake okay your brake so what you want to do go ahead for it and don't click your clutch Press down on your brake let go you have your main stuff set up let's get to your uh, your shifter if you have one because this video also is going to include your shifter to help more people because I have a shifter and I know I like it now, unfortunately, so far in Roblox, I don't think there's any uh, games that you could actually do the six speed with. So we're just going to be using uh, second gear. We're going to be using this kind of like an automatic. So we're just going to be using third and fourth as like an automatic. So you want to go into drive, go forward, or first, go forward. You want to take back a gear like that. Set up any way you want, honestly. So first of all, in most games, Y is how you shift gears. So you're gonna record that. It can you can do first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, whatever which one you're comfortable with. But since we're doing this in automatic, we're gonna go forward on third. And for X, you're gonna go down on fourth. And there you go. But if you want to use power shifters, same thing. Oh, for power shifters, since almost none of you are probably going to buy this because it's $70. But um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to set power shifters. It's the same thing, but different. So I'm going to use right as Y and X as um or uh, left as X.
thing. Just, just uh, click record and click a power shifter, and there you go. Now the rest you can do custom. But you thought I was done? No, 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 no. I'm not done. Of course, most of y'all probably clicked off by now and are back. Like, why didn't it work? I thought I got everything. That's because you have to go ahead and click games. And you have to click Roblox player. Now, if it doesn't show up, you have to click add. And then you have to go to desktop, if it's on your desktop, and click Roblox player. And then you can use Roblox player. Now, make sure that enable mapping device is on. And that everything is working. But you should probably test everything. Now, if you have a clutch, and of course you want to use clutch. Stick button 10. Okay. Well, if you don't have a clutch and you... Wait a second. Okay, so this just reset on me. So, uh, if that happens, it's because it was being dumb. You can just clear everything. And now, um, pretty sure B is honk. So if you want to have a honk, I, I, uh, I like to use the Xbox button for honk. But it counts as B, so. I like to use the little Xbox button, but if you have PlayStation version, I'm not sure the PlayStation button is allowed to be quick, but. If you want to have a clutch, and of course, some of y'all want to have a clutch. And I'm pretty sure on most games, it's the right bumper. If it isn't, then test out everything until you find out what it is. And hold down on your clutch, let go. And it should say Ice Slayer 1. Perfect. Now, everything should be set up. And let's go ahead and test it. Okay? Now, uh, I'm not sure if it runs in the background, but just in case. And everything should save. If not, then just uh, save it before you leave. Now, each time you open Roblox, if this isn't already open, open it. You don't have to put it in Roblox or any of that. Now, if you get an error, if you get errors, then just go to issues on here. I don't. Oh, I think I just accidentally clicked something. That's fine. So if you have any issues, go to click issues and anything that's here, if it says you need to download something, download it. If it lags, then just close it and it says, it should say, um, this, this is not working, all that. And, uh, yeah. Now we're going to be testing Greenville. Now if you did everything right, and if I explained it well enough. Then you should be able to use your steering wheel with no problemo. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And bye. Thanks for watching. If you have any issues, then comment down below and I will help you.